looking for the obscurity um, Sunday Rising sign. This is the first week of March 2018, and the week begins from the 26th of February until the 4th of March. So, this is going to be a week of um, um, a lot of secrets, a lot of things that are coming out, and this is going to be um, a wonderful um, sort of energy that is coming out. So, let's see what is happening what is transpiring on Monday you're trying to protect yourself from these lower energies protect yourself from things and people and situation that is not vibrating with your own energy vibration you're trying to keep certain people and situation off okay then we have the energy of a lot of information coming at you via the email via posts via text uh, via um, you know people calling and that sort of a thing um, this is going to be good for people who are in business and you could be protecting your business in this week then we have the energy of the eye princess this is a wonderful energy listen to your intuition and guidance there are secrets there are things that you are not aware of there are things and secrets that you are not aware of then we have the energy of um, the hermit that is coming in high princess and the hermit Wednesday and Thursday it's going to be a day that you have to listen to your intuition and guidance and um, that is going to lead you to the right part information knowledge and things are going to be coming up these two days are very spiritual days with a major arcana um, you have a strong foundation whatever is happening you have a very strong foundation there's going to be a lot of celebration there's going to be a lot of um, weddings and that sort of a thing but it's more of a, um, you know over your um, living situation it's going to be good and whatever situation whatever that is going on whatever um, uh, conflicts that is going on you have a very very strong um, you have a very strong balance okay we have the energy of the um, chariot so this is going to be a win-win situation for you guys this is going to be positive it's going to be an extremely win-win situation with whatever is happening and then you have um, the ten the seven of Pentacles that this the last half of the week is going to be when you are connecting with your angels and guides when you're thinking when you're communicating with the universe when you're listening to yourself of how you are going to be planning and balancing your world forward I don't know you guys the ten of Pentacles is here also for you obsolete dimension <laughs> so this is positive um, the major are coming three major are coming which is wonderful good positive energy is coming in and we are going to take a look at what is transpiring for you guys so um, this is good um, let's see um, let's see what is transpiring for you guys because the crowning of the week is look within for wisdom and guidance look within for wisdom and guidance whatever is the situation is look within for wisdom and guidance so whatever is transpiring you need to look within for wisdom and guidance so what is happening oh energy of the queen the queen of cups um, you're protecting yourself from someone who is a scorpion cancer or in scorpion cancer or a um, Pisces okay you're protecting yourself there are information that is going to be coming um, from her to you but you have a very strong foundation so you have no need to worry about okay then um, you are going to have an energy of uh, um, a information that is going to come via your intuition and guidance and uh, um, this is going to bring you positive um, situation in your life and this is going to be good um, there is that you know you and the Sagittarians have basically um, the same sort of a reading with this Queen of Cups, King of Cups, or Queen of Cups that is coming in that you have to deal with. And some of you are protecting yourself from these people, whoever they are these Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpion. And then you have the energy of the Prince um, that is coming in. And this is the energy of uh, this person is actually um, uh, here. Uh, in a sense that we are going to look and see whatever is transpiring you have um, a happy outcome 
a happy outcome whatever the uh, situation was or with with the the, um, um, the information that is coming is a very very happy outcome and then you have the queen of deliverance in the reverse it can be um, whatever is happening you have uh, the energy of an Aquarius Gemini or Libra in in, in, in the reverse and you have um, win the situation justice prevail you have win the situation justice prevail they have realized what this person have done justice have prevail and then you have a happy happy outcomes to whatever the situation was and whatever that has transpired in your life the energy of love is here the energy of love is here so new love is coming in your life this is wonderful this is positive and <laughs> this is this is wonderful because um, the outcomes of this week is that your financial situation is going to be um, positive new love is coming in your life whatever the situation is whatever the transformation was whatever that was happening to you new new love is coming in your life um, this new love that is coming in is a soulmate relationship um, is it a twin flame it is a soulmate okay so a soulmate relationship can become twin flame relationship if you're supposed to carry this vibration in this lifetime but whatever is happening for you obsolete mention you are connecting um, with someone in this week and this person is going to um, play a significant role in your life and it's going to help you to bring positive situation and energies to move forward and this is going to be wonderful so whoever these people are whatever whatever the universe and whoever the universe is bringing in your life it's going to be very very positive okay because um, the new love just came up because this person um, someone someone out there has connect with someone and um, uh, if your question was is this the person is this um, the person for me is this the person who you know I should be involved with yes the universe is saying yes so um, if you have met someone and it is an, a positive connection um, whoever you are um, this is going to be good because this positive connection is bring, going to bring you two together so some of you have met someone and um, you know you've been seeing the person you've been trying to figure out what is going on um, you are wondering if uh, you know there is something that is going to you know move you forward and it's gonna be good so um, not to worry what is happening so that is uh, for someone who is wondering because your cut your energy kind of comes in to ask me and um, what should I do yeah go for the relationship okay I'm moving forward okay let's look at let's let's um, look at the beginning of your um, the beginning of your week to see what is going on so here we go beginning of your week you're protecting yourself a lot of information is coming at you and you're you know guarding yourself and protecting yourself you're um, guarding yourself and protecting yourself from someone who is a Pisces cancer or a scorpion this can be a man or a woman it depends on who you're uh, dealing and working out whatever the situation is with okay and um, you have a very strong foundation against them you have a very positive strong foundation against them whoever this person is okay um, this could be at work this is going to be a work situation some of you um, it could be your supervisor or your manager or your boss this is a work situation and you're trying to protect yourself from them whatever is coming at you um, it could be also that you're communicating with this person you are um, you know you're at work and your communication with this person and uh, you know this relationship is going to become out as a good positive relationship because whoever this person is is a water sign person and whatever that is transpiring and whatever that has transpired because this is all about work in the beginning of a week that you have to deal with the water sign people whoever they are but it's gonna end up very good it's gonna end up you know um, very positive in the sense that this person is going to really connect with you you both are going to be 
connecting on a very positive high vibrational note and this is going to be good so your beginning of the week is going to be very very positive as we move forward and we look at the middle of the week you have the energy a lot of intuitive information is coming to you a lot of intuitive information is coming towards you and listen to your intimate listen to this information because it's from your um, spirit guides and that sort of a thing listen to your gut feeling because it's going to uh, make you overcome a situation whatever is transpiring listen to your gut feeling because your spirit guides this is how because the eye princess is showing up so much in this week of um, information coming at you and um, it's she's coming up and she's showing you the way and she is um, opening up doors of opportunities for you and this is going to be good and uh, very positive so um, whatever that has transpired and whoever has um, tried to um, whatever uh, to bring a sort of a situation to um, take something away from you this you're going to see that the energy of the world comes out whatever the situation whatever the energy of the world is of once um, this is going to be an ending to something with a beautiful beginning that is coming in middle of um, the week is going to be a week where you have bring um, you know you have used um, your information and bring down the energy of someone this is an um, um, this is um, someone over the age of 40 she is a um, and it could be someone between the ages of 30 they're saying 30 and 55 she is a Aquarian a Gemini or a Libra and you are using your wit and your your information to um, your information what you have to bring this person down because this person has done something extremely very injustice and um, they are being found out what they have um, done okay then we are moving forward and we are looking at the last end of the week we have these two cards when these two cards comes up in your reading what this is saying is that these are two major arcana that is working via your intuition one is bringing in information and the second one is shedding light to information this is why i'm always saying to people you know um a big example what i use when the world charade bombing i ask my guide it's an angel who what why okay so or in a guides and whenever our channels are clear because we have to make sure our channels are clear in that um, unwanted um, um, and beings and infant is not sending unwanted information then you will receive the answer so this she is bringing you information and letting you know things and he is shedding the light on inner knowledge and inner situation and information that you need to see so sometimes people say you know i have an epiphany moment <laughs> it's because your guides and angel you know kind of show you something it's like you're wondering now this cannot be you know can't be that so and so and and then all the puzzles the pieces start to fit together um, the outcomes is going to be that you are and uh, you know you have planted your seeds and you're expecting them to grow you're sitting down waiting for them to grow they are going to come in existence you just have to wait and then um, some of you will be dealing so listen to your intuition about someone who is because um, this is the Prince of Pentacles listen to your intuition about someone who is a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn this can be a man or a woman listen to your intuition about this person because um, by doing that uh, by doing that you're going to know something the two of cups comes up twice in your reading some of you are connecting with the king of the, the a prince of pentacles some of you are connecting with the prince of pentacles hmm. there is there is something going on here with you guys 
Um, what I'm receiving is that someone out there have met someone and this person said that maybe they're a water sign maybe there are a Pisces cancer or scorpion but actually they are a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn someone misinformed you for whatever reason someone study you so that they could um, connect with you Hmm. they wanted to find out the truth about the situation uh, okay um, what I'm about to say maybe sounds strange but okay this is where forgiveness comes in forgiveness comes in in a lot of way this is our forgiveness and this is a time that whoever you are out there you have to forgive this person because obviously okay I'm getting the feeling that someone was placed to either connect with you in whatever way however whatever way and this person needed to come close to you for certain information because it's as if they were sent to either watch you and I don't know where this watching is coming from or either to find out information for you or either to espionage on you or either to listen to your conversation or either to find out who you truly are and um, by connecting with you I, I, okay, I think this person could be watching you from afar and um, and then they actually um, connect with you um, through whatever reason whatever channel um, however they have studied you they have studied you and they know exactly what you like what you want where you go what you what's your favorite thing it's as if someone studied you so that they could connect with you it's as if you're very closed off and um, this person have been realizing that you know they were sent to you know watch you you know see what you do and that sort of a thing and then they realize oh my god um, I think something doesn't isn't right because this person is not who they really say that this person is so um, they kind of connect with you but they gave you information that wasn't true like they gave you as if you know they were someone who they weren't really and um so for a lot of you the question is going to come in and yeah um should i move on with this relationship because a lot of you have connected with this person on a very a lot of you have connected with this person um, in a sense you have connected with this person because um, you felt an real attraction and this is this is what I'm saying to world the things are getting very strange um, at this time on this planet and uh, um, I, you know my question is should you um, go forward with this person um, if you feel that you can forgive this person I would say go forward with this person okay I um, it's, it, it is it would be a trust issue for me it will be a very much trust issue and um, whatever the situation is whatever that is happening here and it would become a trust issue for um, some of you if you feel as if it's a trust issue then let it go um, if it is that you know okay I understand but can you please not do this anymore okay um, because you could have just um come to me and said look um i'm so and so i need to go i've been and i need to know you know what is the truth of this story so it could be that some of you have a lawsuit or whatever and someone you know is set to 
a private investigator and, and 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 then you two really meet face to face and have a connection and then you two fall in love yes yes it happens it's weird but it do happen and this is what I'm seeing for some of you but um, it's as if the person is gonna finally come out and tell you the truth and um, the person is gonna finally come out and tell you the truth because um, the relationship the connection that you both have is as if I have to I don't want to lose this person I don't want um, this to be you know something that is going to affect us in our relationship so um, I'm gonna tell the, this person the truth about what happened and by doing that that's the person is going to really tell you you know what transpire but if you realize and you you know um, you know these things are happening because people um, you know there's a shape shifting that is going on I don't know if you people understand what's shape shifting I have to do a video on shape shifting because I know I got the information last week that it was happening so um, whatever um, is happening forgive this person because this person actually basically tried to help you and this was the link of two people to come together because each and every person we all drawn up our contract how this would work out how we would have contact with um, get in contact with you how we would have fit in your puzzle and how we are going to play the part in your movie and when two soulmate or twin flame that is here for the last time in you know your life and that sort of a thing you are going to see how the puzzle fit in and um, how the puzzle really fits and um, you know forgiveness is going to be what is going to happen because you need to forgive this person it's gonna be okay after that because once you forgive this person but if you don't forgive this person um, you are going to lose the best friendship of a lifetime if you don't forgive this person and the best connection of a lifetime so forgiveness is the key because actually this person was set to um, you know watch you and then and and this is how you have planned this out so you have to realize that you know lifetime and lifetime before because there was someone you connected so with this person which was um, you know it becomes very freaky for you but yet still this is how you two wanted to make the blast to connect with each other and this is good for the rest of you I don't know what is going on in love out there for you guys but new love is coming in uh, new love is coming in for a lot of you guys out there positive new love new experience wonderful positive energies that are coming in good positive energies that are coming in for a lot of you guys so this is going to be powerful this is going to be perfect whatever is happening whatever is transpiring it's going to be a wonderful week I have to end this reading because of 23 minutes anyway um, wonderful energy this is what your week is gonna be looking like um, yeah I love love and um, reconsider reconsider whatever you're thinking about doing reconsider so don't break up that relationship just accept that relationship okay reconsider darlings bye